Hello, this is Mitchell, and I'll be showing the features of the Adaptive Audio Occlusion Blueprint. With the release of Unreal Engine 4.11, we now have the native implementation of audio occlusion. This is able to be said in the sound cue itself. This acts on a per-sound basis. The Adaptive Audio Occlusion Blueprint takes that a step further, offering surface-based occlusion and a new feature, Audio Diffraction. Let's go through the features. Enabling the Blueprint will track all available sounds. Disabling it will revert each sound to its sound cue's occlusion settings. To visualize the features, I have the blueprint set to debug mode. Since I'm flying around with no body, I set the player head offset to zero. Setting use surface-based occlusion to true uses surface-based occlusion, false reverts to sound cue settings. Here are four settings for surfaces. You can set custom default surfaces, light, medium, and heavy occlusion surfaces as well. Each has its own setting for volume reduction and low-pass filter frequency. This first obstructed sound is a default surface. Volume is reduced to 12.5% and DLPF is at 8K. Light surfaces in this instance reduce volume to 20% and LPF at 11K. Medium surfaces are the same as default in this case. Heavy surfaces reduce volume to 7.5% and the LPF is at 5K. The blueprint will automatically get all ambient sounds in the level that have occlusion enabled. You can also specify blueprints in your level with audio components to track those sounds as well here. You can also select ambient sounds in your level for the blueprint to ignore. This reverts that sound to its sound cues occlusion settings. Here we have the right sound being ignored by the blueprint. It still occludes, but uses its own sound cue settings. Along with ignoring sounds, you can ignore certain surfaces. Though unlike the ignoring a sound, this will cause the sound to not occlude at all, even if it's set in the sound cue. For instance, if you had a thin curtain that would normally occlude a sound, you can set its surface to a surface you want to ignore, and the sound will occlude normally everywhere else. The Adaptive Audio Occlusion Blueprint also includes a new experimental feature called diffraction. Diffraction is the bending of sound waves around blocking obstacles. This provides a less jarring experience for the listener as sounds become occluded. To simulate this, I have two identical sounds to the occluding sound spawn on either side of the blocking obstacle. They rotate around the bounds of the obstacle in relation to the player and the sound. As long as they can see the sound, they play. Here, they can't see the sound, so you can't hear the diffraction. You can set the volume of the diffracting sounds as well. Diffracting sound traces also ignore ignored surfaces. You can also set specific sounds in your level to ignore diffraction, should you be so inclined. Finally, this blueprint can also account for sounds spawned in the level after the level loads. When spawning a sound, just call the Add Sound to Level event in the blueprint and pass in the spawned sound. It'll take care of adding it to the list of sounds. Sounds can be safely deleted from the level as well, and the blueprint will accommodate. That just about covers the features of the Adaptive Audio Occlusion Blueprint. Thanks for watching.